Hi there. Our Bible study this week is David is chosen as king of Israel. God said to Samuel, I have a job for you. I want you to anoint a new king. Here's what you need to do. Bring a horn filled with oil to Bethlehem and look for Jesse and all of his sons. One of his sons will be the next king. Samuel was afraid that God's job was too scary. Saul, the old king, was still around and he was a very mean guy. But God promised Samuel, I'll be with you and I will help you. So Samuel walked to Bethlehem and he found Jesse. Here's a picture of Samuel and he's carrying his horn with the oil in it. So Samuel said to Jesse, line up all your sons and let's see who will be the next king. So all the sons came in and Samuel looked at the first son, Eliab, that's him. And he felt sure that God would choose him as the king. Eliab was big, strong, had a nice smile, but God disagreed. Samuel was looking at the outside of Eliab, seeing how strong that he looked. God was looking on the inside and did not see the right love in Eliab's heart. One by one, the sons came forward to see if they would be the ones chosen. This one? No, sorry. This one? No, no, not him. This one? Uh, no, I don't think so. And so all of the sons, so Samuel looked at all the sons and God did not choose any of those sons. And so Samuel asked Jesse, is this all of your sons? He said, this is all of them except for one. There's one more, David. He's very young and he's outside watching the sheep. And Samuel said, call him. So they went and got David, and he came inside, and he smelled a little bit like the sheep, but his eyes sparkled with joy and love. David was just a boy, gentle and quiet. Samuel tried to see David from the outside and the inside, and he thought, God, could he be the one? A hush fell over the room, and everyone waited. Yes, God told Samuel, he's the one. Yes, Samuel repeated to everyone. And then Samuel poured the oil from the horn onto David's head, anointing him with God's love and joy. David would be the next king. And from that day, the Spirit of God came powerfully upon David. The lesson from today's story, David is chosen as the king of Israel, is that God is always with us and God can see into our hearts and know who we really are. The craft today is making a pair of glasses. I'll try them on. I decorated my glasses. Oh my, what a beautiful heart you have. God bless you.